Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks, and yeah, it finally happened. I actually started to enjoy playing World of Tanks on my free-to-play account. Today I'm going to be letting you know exactly why, and maybe you can pick up a few tips and tricks if the, the game is kind of tilting you in, in some of these ways. So firstly, what is my Plays for Free account? It's an account that I started in 2018 because I felt like I was losing touch with the game after playing 50,000 games with every single advantage on my main account. I did it because I wanted to go and see what the new player experience was like. Long story short, it's absolutely horrible. And I feel that now that I've got 6,000 games on this account, I'm starting to get into that position where I, I do feel that the, the playing field is slightly more even, or at least it's even to the point where I'm, I'm starting to feel as if I don't want to tear my hair out every single time I play. I've just, well, I haven't quite managed it yet. I'm going to be finishing that tonight. But I've done the latest mission marathon on my free-to-play account. I'm currently at stage 9. I think I've probably got about 3 or 4 hours left to be able to complete it and to be able to get the brand new tier 8 German premium medium tank completely for free. Of course, it's still going to end up taking me roughly about 40 hours of my life over a 10 day period. Whether that's truly free or not, yeah, I guess it just depends on how much you value your time or how much you value your money. But the principle is still there, that we have managed to get a full premium tank that will make a good amount of credits without investing time. So why has this mission marathon been one of the most comfortable and one of the easiest for me? Well, it all comes down to balancing your stock play in your stock tanks. And when I do, I probably win about 45 or 50% of my games when I'm playing my purely stock tanks, often with 80% crews and without all of the crew skills that you would want. And balancing that with comfortable vehicles. So, for example, recently I managed to complete Ranked on my free-to-play account, so I got the Concept 1B, and I also managed to get the Object 777 version 2 for playing, I think, either Rampage game mode, which is not the Rampage, sorry, Steel Hunter, I believe, all three seasons last year. But you can pick it now just by playing the game casually um, by completing Wargaming's Battle Pass. It's one of the cheaper tanks, the 7772, and while I don't think it's probably like the best vehicle out of all of them, it's definitely been an absolute winner for me on my free-to-play account. Something about that kind of low profile combined with six degrees of gun depression and just Soviet balance, right? And that is really one of the things that has been making me enjoy playing on this free-to-play account more than ever. Well, so you might be saying, what, it's because you've got very good vehicles like the Concept 1B and the 7772. Yes, but it's also about just making sure that you don't go full crazy tilt trying to grind through your stock tanks constantly. And when you start to actually have a few of these collector's vehicles or reward tanks that you manage to get by playing the game, you can get them even by just playing the mid-tier vehicles now. Then everything starts to feel more manageable. And then when you play your stock tanks, like I've been getting through my Progetto 54 during this mission marathon, it just feels all the more special to then have that kind of calm composure and to succeed inside the, inside the stock tanks as well. This mission marathon was specifically easy because I think I managed to set my best times ever in a few of the stages by target playing tier 9 tanks. If you watched my video about my recommendations for what different vehicles you played at the different stages and what stages you actually try to focus with your missions for mastery and which ones you just try to grind through, it's just actually been a lot easier. It's been comfortable to be able to get through it. And sure, I know it's it's not a luxury that everybody's going to be able to have from the get-go. And being able to, to get through uh, the different stages of rank to be able to get the Concept 1B. Yeah, okay. But you could definitely replace that with the AE Phase 1 as well, which you can get from the Battle Pass. And I think by just having that balance of 7772 and either the AE Phase 1 and the Concept 1B, to play them backwards, back and forth, while you're also still trying to focus on the other vehicles that you're going to get through, it just makes you feel as if you're not helpless. So if there's one thing that I've discovered from this mission marathon, it's that I strongly recommend that if you find yourself getting incredibly frustrated, a lot like I said in my video last Sunday, and just before I finish, I'd like to apologize for not releasing any videos this week. Um, it's no excuse, but I had my first dose of the COVID vaccine. I only felt mild fatigue for about 12 to 24 hours. The main reason why is that I, I don't know about this new patch that's coming up in update 
13 and the HE changes that are going to be going through and I'm really trying to to get my head all around it before I I come out with a video hopefully on the matter because it's definitely going to be one of the biggest updates of World of Tanks at least with regards to how it's going to change the mechanics back to what I was saying and that is that I was talking about getting frustrated in World of Tanks and many of you who have watched my mission marathons if you've been following all of them will know that uh, some of them have been incredibly frustrating for me and no more so than to have all of those disadvantages of playing on the free on my free to play account and to have them all taken away from me on my main account it's 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 incredibly exasperating but so what I'm trying to suggest is that if you find yourself just getting incredibly mad incredibly frustrated because you're playing those stock tanks just don't feel the need to rush. Don't feel the need to zerg those stock tanks. Don't feel pressure to be able to complete some kind of mission or some kind of event that's going on. Play them. If it doesn't work out, don't treat it like a job. And then play your happy place tanks as well. As a little bit of reward, you know. Play your Cromwell. Play your Comet. If, if that was me, I, I love my Comet as you all know. Play your E75, play all of those kind of classic tanks that maybe you fell in love with back in the day and maybe still go well for you now. Go and blast around in a Borask if you love playing that vehicle, farm a few, li farm a few of the puppies on the enemy team and then go and get back to it with a more keen, or should I say a more relaxed mental and you'll be surprised about what kind of an impact you can have. The game that you're seeing here is finally fully upgrading the Progetto 54 and what I would consider finally starting to hit my stride with the vehicle. Using the speed to take the aggressive position in the center, using that gun depression to put pressure on vehicles, remaining calm and composed with the shells to not waste the damage per minute against the heavies and then to just be able to maximize an, a tragic damage per minute on this vehicle right up until the end where I, I fire at the CS-59 and don't manage to get that right but hell, hell you can't have it all right? This mission marathon has been almost painless. I don't know, maybe I'm just hitting some kind of a stride in World of Tanks and I feel like when I think about it that's how I felt on my main account. Once I had a couple of tier 10s, once I felt like I had some decent crews, when I had got through at least not all of the stock grinds but at least some of the stock grinds to a point where then you've got a, a collection of vehicles inside your garage that don't make you want to alt f4 and go and play a different game and um, uh, look well i think this might be uh stretching a little bit i think probably one of the best things about world of tanks has to be that while well, the stock grinds are absolutely terrible and they're, they're despicable and they can make you feel absolutely lost. When you do finally get the vehicle fully upgraded, I feel like it makes you appreciate it a little bit more. And funnily enough, I think that's how I'm feeling with my free to play account right now. Early on, it was possibly one of the most horrible things I've ever had to do in video gaming history. I, uh, I'm not the most patient person, but you know what, I have a good tolerance for, for crap to put up with. But my gosh, those first few hundred to a thousand games on the free-to-play account were almost crippling with the way they made me feel. And also, keep into mind, it managed to do that even though I had played about 50,000 games on my main account. But maybe it was knowing all of the advantages that I had on my main account that just made the free-to-play experience so exasperating. And while I'm not trying to defend the pay-to-win in World of Tanks, in a way, it does feel that the hardships of the journey just make the rewards feel a little bit sweeter. But who knows? Maybe I'm just a masochist and a glutton for punishment. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And if you're watching this video as it goes live on Saturday, I'm going to be finishing the free-to-play grind right now. So if you want to see me unlock the Kampfpanzer 07RH, then come along for the final bit. Or alternatively, if you're finishing the grind yourself, good luck. Don't let it push you to your limits. But still, if you plan to do it, dig deep and good luck to you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.